less latency now. Yeah. Nostalgic Books and Comics in San Gabriel, California. This is the Multiverse Comic Show. And now, here is your host, Pete Malini. There we go. Malini, Malini, <laughs> Malini. Wednesday night. It is Wednesday night. It is Wednesday. It's, it's a big Wednesday. It's a big Wednesday. I was looking at the books right here. Mm-hmm. A lot of big books. I even saw, like, I saw when you were previewing the mm-hmm. books. Because if you go to Pete's Facebook page, Nostalgia Books and Comics, he posts up the new books mm-hmm. every, every Tuesday, Tuesday, Tuesday night. Tuesday, Tuesday night. Yeah. You grab all the covers. Mm-hmm. You po- we post them up. That way people can know. If you want to know what's coming out the, day, the, the, the next day on Comic Book Day, Wednesday Comic Book Day, be sure to check out Pete's Facebook page, Nostalgic Books and Comics. It'll be linked onto this on Facebook. And on Twitch, search it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, it was a big week. Like, I was... Uh... I went to go pick up the books yesterday, and, uh-huh. and I was like, the, when I saw the bill, I was like, what the hell came out? It was a big <laughs> second book. I see, uh, even beyond what you have oh, yeah. here, I'm oh, sure yeah. there's probably a bunch of other books that didn't make the cut to yeah. <laughs> to, 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 to our little uh, we, books of the week. I think we would have been stuck here for an hour, two hours and we went through everything. Oh, really? <laughs> a lot of, those weeks? Good God. A lot of stuff came out. Holy shit. Let's see. Where are we? Oh, you, I'm, I'm sure there's some news that came out. I yeah. saw I saw some stuff this week. I'm, we'll go in whatever order you so, uh, have for us here. Did you hear about the Avengers 4? No, 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 no. I have not heard anything about Avengers 4. So, uh, I don't know. There, there's this, this story that came out. And supposedly there are leaks from uh, an artist at Hot Toys. Oh, really? And he has some designs that... Uh, they're using the, 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 the toys. Okay, because you know? they, they, they have to pre- they have to prepare this stuff yeah. way in advance. Oh yeah, because it's pretty the hot toys are like over realistic sculptures, mm-hmm. you know. So they have, they have to prepare it early, yeah. so that way it comes out on time when the movie comes out. Yeah, and uh, they didn't really spoil too much. I mean, they, 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 they were getting new costumes more or less. Like there's pictures of Thor. And he's pretty much in the same costume he had in Infinity War. Mm-hmm. Uh, there's a picture of, of Iron Man that was kind of blurred out, so you know. I I I think I, I saw an image of Hulk, but he's like, kind of like almost like in a Doctor Banner kind yeah, of suit. Yeah, like suit. Like, yeah, but the one that I, I don't know if you can confirm this is real. It's actually mm-hmm. photograph. Oh, you got really? a picture of a uh, of Cap. Oh really? And uh, so for oh, okay, let's let's check this out. Here. And uh, let's check this out. He's got the scales. Huh? <laughs> Maybe with scales, oh, hey, maybe because we don't know. Maybe it might be his last go around as Captain exactly. America, so might as well go out, rocking the the scale. Oh, ooh, we got an even better shot here. Yeah, better shot. Right there. Look, he's looking like old school Cap. Yeah. And uh, there's another picture that I, I couldn't. It was really blurry. So I didn't put it up, but he has the Avengers logo on, on his arm. So it's like, and it it's sort of like somewhere in between his classic costume and the that Age of Ultron costume mm-hmm. you have. But I, I'm loving the fact they put the scales on. Yeah, that's, 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 that's such an iconic yeah. thing from the comic books, you know, like, you know, having, having the scales, that's always something a part of, like, you know, like, when I was, when was Kirby drew them initially, right? Yeah, yeah like, like, Kirby created them. Kirby created them. Yeah. So, yeah, it's like, having the, the scales and the armor is very, very old school. Mm-hmm. Armor, that's really awesome. Because, mm-hmm. like, yeah, because I know one of the big rumors is that they're going to they're gonna travel through time. Yeah. That, that's a rumor. We yeah, don't know for sure. Gonna, yeah. There's going to be some time travel going on. Well, I, I, I they said photos that they kind of show uh, revisiting the Battle of New York mm-hmm. and stuff like that. So it, it's interesting. I mean, I, I don't know how they would travel through time. Um, uh, the time stone. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but this, this Thanos is a, could just be going through time and be like, fuck it, everything. <laughs> that's true. Let's, let's, go, let's, go, let's go on a tour of, <laughs> of where you've come from. Here we cool. are. Battle that's right. World War II, <laughs> test site, <laughs> Afghanistan. Just they could just take them. Yeah. <coughs> you know what? It could be Avengers. This is your life. <laughs> that could well, be the subtitle for that's it. That's true. Well, did you hear? Uh, so, what was it? Uh, the Russo brothers said that once we find out the title of the, of the movie, it's going to uh, terrify us. Oh, really? I don't know what that means. <laughs> Avengers. The end. The end. Right. 
Yeah, yeah Marvel did have a whole bunch of those The End series. That's like, true. Yeah, that, that was a big Thanos story when they did the Marvel VN. That's right, he did. Just end the universe, right? Yeah. yeah. That's they true. ended the universe. Mm-hmm. And Thanos had to reset everything. Yeah, because he fucked up, right? Yeah, he fucked up. Um, yeah, like, there's a rumor put around that it's going to be called Avengers Assemble. But that I don't think terrified. No. And not only that, like, I, know, I, I can almost guarantee that's not the case because all over the world, the it's first, the, the first the Avengers, called, Avengers, Avengers Assemble. Assemble. Which I always was so jealous because that's such a better title than we just got. The okay. Avengers. Yeah. That's such a better title. It sets everything up because we have seen all these characters individually. And then they assemble. <laughs> right. I don't know why Disney did that. It well, wasn't Disney. Well, well technically. Yeah. Well, no, it was Paramount. Mm-hmm. It, was, it was technically Paramount. Like I think Disney had already like purchased everything, but Disney didn't take over until the next week. Yeah, I remember three. Yeah. Like, Disney handled the home video. Yeah. I remember, uh... Oh, William Fung asked, Do you have spider getting on your pull list? Maybe. Maybe. There's a possibility. <laughs> I don't know. But stay tuned and watch <laughs> William Fung, and you'll find out. Yeah. Let's see. What else we got? So, okay. I've never read this. Have you ever read The Boys? The like Garth Ennis? You know what? That's one of the Garth Ennis books I never read. Yeah. Like, uh, 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 a close friend of mine, uh, my, my buddy Sean T. Hornbuckle, he was all about that. Like, yeah. he, he's, he's always been a big Garth Ennis guy. I, I've been a Garth Ennis guy going yeah. back to preach it. Yeah. But that was one where I was like, you know what? That's a little too far. Yeah. <laughs> I, I remember reading the first issue and like just being like, wow, this is really graphic. Like, yeah. <laughs> I, I felt like that was one of those, one of those few first times in my life where I was like, you know what? This is too much. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, so Amazon is, is adapting it into a TV show. You're fucking kidding. No, no, it's happening. And one thing that I see, I'm actually interested in watching the show now. I mean, okay, I mean, because they released their fro- their first photo of their cast. This is really freaking cool. All right, let me see this. Oh shit, that's pretty fucking cool. Yeah. Wow, that's like that's like the couple from the first trade. I think it's the first issue. Holy fuck, that's pretty cool. Right. Alright, video. I, I okay. I'll, I'll check it out. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> fuck it, it, man. But if they even go half of what they in the book, yeah. Because I swear that Garth Ennis is just freaking that. That's just a torture porn. Yeah, <laughs> big time. It's a death porn. It's torture porn. But, see, this is, I really, that's why it really caught my attention because it's like I don't think we, they've really done that before, right? Like I feel like like when they make a comic, a movie out of a comic, or they, they don't really focus on the source material that much. Where they the only movie. It would be uh, Sin City. Yeah, the original Sin City. That's the only. That's the only one where it's like that was like pretty much frame for frame source yeah. material. But like, because even the promotional material, like in the, the close second would have been the Watchmen movie. And that would yeah. be another one that was like very close to source material. But beyond that, they usually kind of you know they stray. They, they they're all, you know they, they put their own twist on it. But then, yeah. but that, that's pretty cool that they uh yeah. they really and they went straight from that's like the cover. Yeah, they literally <laughs> ripped the cover <laughs> in IRL. Yeah, because I mean, like, like I to this day, I am still disappointed that they didn't do that for the Days of Future Past. Mm. That's the most iconic. Oh, the cover! cover. Uh, yeah, they couldn't just Hugh Jackman. Yeah, <laughs> that would have been with the with the poster of yeah. Everyone. That oh, that would have been such an epic movie poster. Like, just imagine that. Like, I don't know why they didn't do that. Damn. Well, they never went to that. Era, I guess the only time they were in that era was the beginning. Well, it was kind of. It was weird. It was just weird. It was kind of weird. Yeah. But just to, to, to but I agree with you. They, they, kind of, they missed the boat. Yeah. On that way. That would have been if, so If they had just done a teaser poster of that. Yeah. Of been. Logan just like in that pose. And who, who's with him on the cover? I think it was Kitty, right? Yeah, I think it was Kitty, yeah. right? Yeah. Which they, they technically did. Yeah, she was in the movie. Yeah. She was in the movie. Yeah. Because he was, yeah, they just did it just to do it. I mean. I just had all the, and all the freaking actors and the freaking like cross uh, dead apprehended <laughs> yeah <laughs> Missy deceased yeah that would have been so cool like that would that would have sold that I'm not a movie poster guy um, yeah you're wearing it <laughs> yeah <laughs> I'm on fire today folks like I'm not a movie poster guy but I would have bought that movie poster they would have done that that would have been yeah. a great poster yeah but yeah but this is cool. Yeah, right? that, that's you know we were talking about homage covers recently. Yeah. Like that's a big homage cover right there. Oh, yeah. People always freaking 
we'll have to do their yeah. their spin on it. I've seen like a Rick and Morty one. I've seen like. Oh well, yeah, because uh, when the, the, the end of season two, beginning of season three, mm-hmm. they had to that you know like. Ah, ha, ha. Mm-hmm. But yeah, that that's just an like, iconic cover. Yeah, that is pretty cool. But yeah. fuck the the, 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 the boys. I, that's yeah. A, I, I I can't wait to tell my everybody Sean about that. He'll be he'll be very pleased. You know, I'm really I'm and really, it's prime, so they, yeah, they can oh, they go all out. They go all out. It's streaming. That that's that's the, yeah. the the great thing about all these streaming shows. They can go as violent as they need to. Yeah. They can. I mean, I, there's no FCC violation yeah. for for streaming. I mean, uh, Garthy is they have to go like either you have to go all the way. Have to go premium cable or streaming. Cause yeah. <laughs> Because I mean, uh, yeah, you can't put any. Well, I guess technically they've been putting a Guardian this product on AMC with the Preacher. That, yeah, but that's still. I mean, they can get away with that. That's of kind of premium ish cable. Yeah. You have to pay. You still kind of have to pay for AMC nowadays. Yeah. <laughs> from, from my understanding, <laughs> I see people not watching Better Call Saul because they don't have AMC. Yeah. <laughs> but see, I'm really liking this whole era of like, because like Sci-Fi Network is pushing that too. Like all these kind of big shows. They're bringing in the original writers as uh, executive producers. Yeah, and fucking happy with Grant fucking Morrison. He wrote the pilot to that to that show, like, you know. <laughs> and, and that show was very much in. Oh, like, yeah. it, it stuck to it. That's no, like, it pretty much stuck to the source material yeah. for the most part. I mean, they expanded some things that were not in the book, but yeah. it's like. But from what I understand is that Grant Morrison was in the writers' rooms, like he helped expand that stuff. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. That, that, that's and, the crazy part. So we got that was it uh, Deadly Class is coming out. And that, I've never read that book. It's a Rick Remender book. Oh, really? And he wrote the pilot to that, and he's going to be, you know... It, he's it, a part of the writer's yeah. group. So it, it, this is cool that they're actually, like, finally taking comics seriously enough that we bring in the creators. Mm-hmm. We focus a little bit more on the source material, you know. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, I, I like this. So, okay. So we've known for a while mm-hmm. about the CW uh, crossover. Right. Uh, you know, we know yeah. Batwoman's gonna be in it, and it's only gonna be like three episodes: Supergirl, Flash, and Arrow. Yeah, no, no legends. No, but we got a title today. Oh, what? <laughs> Elseworlds using the old school Elseworlds logo that they would put yep. on the comics back in the day. Holy shit! Oh, it gets better. So we don't know anything about this crossover. Uh, well, well, Superman's in it. We got Lois Lane in it. We got Batwoman, right? Today they announced. The Lantern? No. <laughs> the Monitor, is it? The Monitor? <laughs> like, Crisis the Monitor? Yeah. <laughs> so this is going to be a little crazier than, than I, I, I expected. <laughs> uh, they pushed their chips to the center of the table here. <laughs> yeah. Why, they, 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 they're taking this a little too far. Yeah. I like it. I, I will watch this crossover. I will, I, will, I will definitely want that. Yeah. Damn, Elseworlds. Yeah. So is that is how they're introducing Batwoman through an Elseworld? I'm assuming, right? Because yeah. we're traveling. Other, because we've already established that Supergirl is in another dimension. Yeah. We've established there's an Earth. Uh, there's a Nazi Earth X. Nazi Earth, yeah. <laughs> so why not another? Uh, so that's three. So why not another forty nine worlds? <laughs> well, so yeah, because you Supergirl, I think it's like Earth thirty eight or something ridiculous. It's some weird random. We got 52 of them. Yes. Hey, establish DC continuity as there are 52 universes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you go, go ask Grant Morrison. He drew the map. He did draw the map. He, so does that mean like... Does that mean like... I would assume that the movies are its own universe. I think. Oh, I would like to think so. Like theoretically, like, buy the Flash and go to the movie universe, right? Oh my God. I you just leave me a terrible thought. <laughs> if I the Flash and go visit the world of Batman and Robin. Oh, there you go, right? How about about to freeze? <laughs> we get a sound alike, a look alike for Arnold. Yeah. Oh man, you going to watch that this weekend? Yeah, I'll have to oh, ask it, it, how that went. I mean, I think I was old enough when it came out that I remember most of it. It's pretty bad. <laughs> like it didn't age well. <laughs> what killed the dinosaurs? The Ice Age. There's so many ice puns. He's <laughs> so like he. Every other line is an ice pun. <laughs> Everybody chill. <laughs> we'll just put you on ice. <laughs> and so we, we've been watching um, all of them. We watched the Tim Burton ones too. And uh, you know, the one constant in all of the movies, even the Joseph, uh, is Alfred and Mr. Gordon. Yeah, same, same they're, actor. they're the same actor. Same actor. And so, uh, so you know you're still in the same world, yeah. so to speak. <laughs> and so I heard we were watching uh, the, the third one, Dryan Dry, had never seen it. We were sitting there watching forever. And she was like, the moment Alfred like kind of pinches his chest, he's holding his chest, 
like, are you gonna kill Alfred? Oh, this is bullshit, right? <laughs> He's the only constant. How dare they try to kill Alfred? Oh, he passed away. And it was so campy, like it was so like, cause I, I, like previously the uh, last week we watched uh, Batman Forever, uh-huh. which wasn't that bad. Like I was like, I was like, it was entertaining. It had its moments. This one though, like like Batman and Robin is it's just bad. bad. Everyone's chewing up the scenery. Like everyone is just like the, the lines are so over the top. It's like. Because it's Clooney yeah. and Chris O'Donnell and with Thurman. And with Thurman, I was like, because we were watching it, we were like, wow, this was, wasn't that long after Pulp Fiction. Like, she became huge <laughs> because of that movie. Yeah. And she goes and makes that. Hey, around. man. Paychecks, my friend. That's true. That's true. You do what the director tells you. And when Joel Schumacher tells you to be shitty, you be shitty. <laughs> Just do all the ice puns. Yeah, all the ice puns. Yeah. But so let's just put Bane in. That's what I, I was trying to explain to Dry because I remember, I remember seeing the trailer for that, and they show that shot of Bane ripping the the bat signal off. Because Bane was a relatively new character at that point. Uh, no, he'd been. Uh, Nightfall was several years before that. Well, I mean, was it ninety? Because Nightfall was like ninety two, or like like, like ninety three, ninety four, yeah. and then Batman and Robin was like what ninety six. Yeah. That's the couple years. He he was famous. He broke the back. Well, I know, but I'm saying like he broke. He had, he had never been in any other media. Uh, I don't even think he, like, he might have been.